Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us. In today's video, we're going to review the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet Kidney Plus Mobility Support for Cats. At the beginning of the video, we're going to jump right into looking at the food and having Thunder do the taste test. In the middle of the video, we're going to talk about the specifics of the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet Kidney Support for Cats. And at the end of the video, we're going to compare it to the Hills Prescription Kidney Care Cat Food. So let's go ahead and jump right in and take a look at the wet food. So here we see what the wet food looks like as soon as we open the can. We're going to go ahead and put this in a bowl. Here is an up close look after I've put it in the bowl and it is not as moist as I would like. So what I'm going to do is add about a half a can of hot water to it and using the can allows you to get all those extra bits out of it. So after you've added the water, I recommend using either a spoon or a fork and just sort of mashing the food to allow the water to integrate with it. It is a lengthy process to take this extra step, but I think it's worth it to give a little bit more moisture to your cat. And some of the online reviews that I've seen for this food criticizes how dry the food is. So adding this water helps. So believe it or not, it's about five minutes later of me mashing and stirring to integrate the water into the food to get it to the consistency that I want. And now I'm just going to pour this into the serving bowl for Thunder. And here is Sweet Boy Thunder absolutely enjoying his wet food. Now, Thunder was diagnosed as being in the early stages of kidney failure a little over a year ago. It was February 2018 when he was diagnosed, and he's been on a prescription diet ever since. He does still occasionally eat regular cat food with his sister Jericho, but that's just primarily on the days when we're doing cat food review videos. The rest of the time he eats his Hills Prescription Kidney Care cat food and he loves it. But someone recommended um, on our review video of the Hills Prescription Kidney Care cat food that we try the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet Kidney Care food. And so that's what this video is all about, us giving it a try. And we purchased a case of 24 cans of the wet food and we're about halfway through that case now, and Thunder has been absolutely enjoying it. But he hasn't tried the dry food yet, and so he gets to try the dry food for the first time in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dry food. I only use dry food as a snack for the cats, and so I'm just gonna give him an eighth of a cup. Here's an up-close look of what the dry food looks like, and those darker pieces are called life source bits, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that later, but first, Thunder gets to try it. Thunder is really chowing down on this dry food, which is a good thing because I'm happy about the ingredients that's in this dry food. And we're going to go ahead now and start looking specifically at what the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet is all about. The true Blue promise is that it always starts with protein-rich chicken. There is no chicken or poultry byproduct meals, no corn, wheat, or soy, and no artificial flavors or preservatives. It is made without wheat, and this is an important difference between the Blue Kidney Plus Mobility Support and many other wet cat foods. Some brands use wheat as a thickening agent in their food, and when we look at the ingredients for Blue, we'll see that they use potato and potato starch. Blue offers wonderful kidney support. Proper nutrition is essential for cats affected by kidney disease. When the kidneys do not function optimally, a diet that features controlled protein and mineral levels, such as phosphorus, can help support kidney function. The Blue Natural Veterinary Diet Kidney Plus Mobility Support not only features controlled protein and mineral levels, but it also helps cats maintain optimal urine pH levels and contains antioxidants, L-carnitine, and omega-3 fatty acids to help support your cat's overall health. The controlled protein levels help manage kidney workload. 
and the controlled levels of phosphorus and sodium help support kidney health. In fact, controlling the levels of phosphorus is as important, if not more important, than controlling protein levels. It has DHA, glucosamine, and chondroitin. It's formulated to support healthy joint function and overall mobility, which is often an issue for senior adult cats. It's made without the grains that many pet parents, myself included, choose to avoid, and it has a delicious taste. It's a therapeutic diet made with wholesome ingredients plus a great taste to support a healthy appetite. The dry food has life source bits that are a precise blend of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals that are selected by holistic veterinarians and animal nutritionists. It supports immune system health, life stage requirements, and healthy oxidative balance. The life source bits are cold form to help retain the potency of their ingredients. This means that it minimizes the amount of heat that life source bits are exposed to during the manufacturing process to avoid losing heat sensitive nutrients. So now we're gonna go ahead and compare the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet to the Hills Prescription Diet. Last year after Thunder was diagnosed with kidney failure, we did a video review that compared the Hills Prescription Kidney Care to the Royal Canin Renal Care. And in that video, in my opinion, the Hills Prescription Diet was far superior to the Royal Canin because of its ingredients. In that video, we focused primarily on the dry food, and I'm going to include a link in the video description to that video so you can learn more about it. So we're gonna go ahead and compare the first five ingredients of the dry food between Blue Natural Veterinary Diet and Hills Prescription Diet. Now I do need to say that we have not actually tried the Hills Prescription Diet KD Plus Mobility. What we tried previously was the Hills Prescription Diet KD Kidney Care. However, because the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet, their kidney care line only comes in kidney plus mobility, for the sake of equal comparison, we're gonna go ahead and compare it to the Hills Prescription KD Plus Mobility. Now over on the left hand side, we see the first five ingredients for the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet. The first ingredient right out of the gate is fantastic. It's deboned chicken. That's something I can 100% support and feel good about feeding to Thunder. The next ingredients are peas, pea starch, potato starch, and dried egg product. Now, I am not generally a fan of adding fruits and vegetables to cat food. However, uh, we're not talking about normal cat food, we're talking about kidney care cat food. And because it's important to control the protein levels for kidney care cat food, it stands to reason that they would have ingredients other than just deboned chicken. So I'm okay with the added peas, pea starch, and potato starch. Also, because those are better digestible than the ingredients over on the right-hand side for the Hills Prescription Diet. The first five ingredients are brewer's rice, corn gluten meal, pork fat, soy protein isolate, and chicken meal. There are a lot of different opinions on whether or not meal is a good ingredient in cat food. And sometimes it's hard to know what the truth is. I just decided a few years ago that I'm gonna say no to meal, primarily because it's overprocessed, And I think the best cat foods are minimally processed. And you know, I'm also just not a fan of the brewer's rice or corn or even pork for that matter that's in the Hills Prescription Diet ingredient list. So this is a no for me. And in fact, when we reviewed the Hills Prescription Diet Kidney Care Cat Food last year and compared it to the Royal Canaan Renal Care Food, even though I thought the Hills Prescription Diet Dry Food had better ingredients than the Royal Canaan Renal Care, I still didn't like the ingredients. And after we finished that bag of dry food, I didn't buy Thunder another bag. I just stuck to the kidney care wet food for him. So I'm really excited now to have found the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet Kidney Plus Mobility Dry Food because 
I can stand behind those ingredients. And I'm glad now that I have found a food that I can give to Thunder as a snack that will actually be good for his kidneys. So that's a thumbs up for me and highly recommended. Last year, we also did a video review of the Hills Prescription Diet Kidney Care Wet Food. And I'm also going to include a link in the video description to that video so you can learn more about the wet food. So now we're going to compare the wet food. And for starters, I want to let you know that Thunder has actually tried the Hills Prescription Diet KD Plus Mobility in the wet food. I don't think we reviewed it. However, he did try it and he liked it okay, but because it was more expensive than just the regular Hills Prescription Kidney Care, and because I didn't really see the need to add the mobility component to his diet, I ended up just sticking with the regular Hills Prescription Diet KD Kidney Care wet food for him. So in comparing the two brands between the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet and the Hills Prescription Diet for the wet food, to start with, I want to point out three differences. The first is the size of the can. For the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet, we have a 5.5 ounce sized can, which is about two servings. And for the Hills Prescription Diet, we have a 2.9 ounce sized can, which is one serving. Now, I actually prefer the 2.9 ounce sized can because it eliminates the possibility of overfeeding or waste or having to refrigerate part of the food. The second difference I want to point out between the two is the texture. For the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet, it's pate. But for the Hills Prescription Diet, it's stew or if you use just the regular kidney care, you can actually choose between stew or pate. The third difference that I want to point out is the flavor. For the blue natural veterinary diet, it is chicken only. However, for the Hills Prescription Diet, you, it can have either the chicken or if you're going to do the regular kidney care, you can have chicken or tuna. So I like the added variety of the texture and the flavors. And so for me right now, as far as the wet food is concerned, the Hills Prescription Diet is in the lead. So next we're going to go ahead and look at the first eight ingredients for the wet food and compare the two brands. So for the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet, the first eight ingredients are chicken, chicken broth, water, potatoes, potato starch, beef, chicken liver, and carrots. The first eight ingredients for the Hills Prescription Diet are water, chicken, pork liver, carrots, rice, rice starch, spinach, and chicken fat. As I mentioned when comparing the ingredients for the dry food, for the wet food, the potatoes and the potato starch for the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet is preferred over the rice and the rice starch for the Hills Prescription Diet, primarily because the potatoes are easier for the cats to digest. And I also prefer the chicken liver in the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet over the pork liver in the Hills Prescription Diet. So for me, as far as comparing the ingredients for the wet food, the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet has the win. Before we go any further with our comparison of the wet food, I think this is a good time to go ahead and stop and look at what the correct percentages should be for a kidney support diet. So it should contain the following key components on a dry matter basis. Protein should be at 28 to 35%. Phosphorus should be at 0.3 to 0.6%. Sodium should be less than 0.4%. And omega-3 fatty acids should be between 0.4 to 2.5%. And in case you're not already aware, it is important to look at the dry matter basis when comparing cat foods and not just rely solely on the guaranteed analysis. 
In this video description, I'm going to include a link to a website where you can learn a lot more about dry matter basis, and that link also includes a calculator to help you determine those percentages. Here is the dry matter basis for the two wet foods that we're comparing. And let's go ahead and start over on the right hand side this time and look at the Hills Prescription Diet. Each of the four key components are in the correct percentage range for a good kidney support diet. The crude protein comes in at 29.6%. Unfortunately, this is not the case over on the left-hand column when looking at the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet. The crude protein comes in below the recommended range at only 20.45%. Now, fortunately, the phosphorus and the omega-3 fatty acids are within the correct range, but I can't really say for sure if the sodium is in the correct range because it wasn't listed. And so I don't really know what its number should be. I am surprised that the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet protein level was below the recommended number, being as chicken was its number one ingredient. Now, for those of you who have cats that are in more of an advanced stage of kidney failure, this lower protein level may be good news for you. But unfortunately, it doesn't really work for Thunder, being as we use wet food as the primary food source. So I found this nutrition statement on the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet website in their wet food section. And it says that Blue Natural Veterinary Diet KM Kidney Plus Mobility Support is intended for intermittent or supplemental feeding only. Now this statement is just about the wet food. For the dry food, that's what they actually recommend to be a cat's primary food source. And because that's the opposite of the way I feed my cats, unfortunately that means that the wet food is just not going to work. So we plan to go ahead and stick with the Hills Prescription Diet Kidney Care wet food for cats. And even though the wet food didn't meet our needs, the dry food did. And so I highly recommend the Blue Natural Veterinary Diet dry food for cats. And that's something we're going to continue to purchase. Well, I do want to thank everyone for watching. And I hope that you found this video helpful. Have a great day.